Speakers, thank you, and Ranking Member Burr for quickly scheduling uh, this hearing uh, for this nominee. And welcome, uh, Mr. McDonald, and to your wife also, uh, welcome. Um, and I look forward, and thank you, by the way, for the discussion we had in my office. Um, in a short number of months, Congress, veterans, and the American public have had a glimpse into the failure of the VA to provide quality care to veterans across this nation. It's disturbing, to say the least, that many of our veterans went without health care because employees decided to cheat the system. Every time I'm home, I re repeatedly hear from Nevadans about their individual stories and difficulties they faced with the VA, and many of them are doubtful that it'll ever improve. For example, at the Las Vegas VA hospital, more than 6,100 veterans were forced to wait more than 30 days to get an appointment. Just last year, a blind female veteran waited more than six hours in the VA emergency room before seeing a nurse or a doctor. Uh, in a small town outside of Las Vegas called Pahrump, 6,000 veterans have waited more than two years uh, for a clinic to be built. Uh, the VA officials have not provided a timeline for final approval, approval of this facility. And these problems with access to care extend beyond the VA health care. Veterans are also facing difficulty, as many of my colleagues have mentioned, receiving their benefits due to the disability claims backlog at the Veterans Benefits Administration. Mr. McDonald, I bring this issue up and will continue to do so because of the claims backlog impact veterans in my state face, which is worse than any other. Nevada veterans still have the longest wait in the nation at 338 days on average to complete claims. The Reno VA Regional Office remains the worst performing VARO in the country. And a few months ago, a veteran from Fallon uh, wrote me wrote to me saying, and I quote, after seven months of no retroactive payment, I returned to the VARO again. I spoke with the same advisor and he told me because I was retired from the Navy and in receipt of retirement benefits, I was considered a low priority. And I don't think Mr. McDonald, I, I believe you would agree with me that no veteran uh, should ever be told by the VA that uh, they're a low priority. That's why I've been working hard with Senator Casey. Uh, to continually urge Chairman Sanders to have a hearing on our comprehensive bipartisan legislation, the 21st Century Backlog or Veterans Benefits Delivery Act. In the conversation that we had in our office, you told me you had an opportunity to take a look at that, uh, look at this, and for that, I thank you for taking that time. These issues, the claims backlog, log, long appointment wait times, lack of access to quality health care, rural clinics, are just a few of the concerns in Nevada, and I expect the new VA Secretary uh, you, Mr. McDonald, to tackle these issues head on and work with this committee to address them. Furthermore, this agency needs more than a few initiatives. It needs substantial reform from within the VA uh, in hopes to restore veterans' confidence and trust in their system. This crisis, arguably one, arguably one of the worst in VA history, is a result of a corrosive culture due to management and some employees who believe that they are above reproach. To change the VA in the long term, its new leadership must be unrelenting and capable of transforming the agency to meet what would be its core mission, serving our nation's veterans honorably and honestly. I expect the new VA Secretary to restore accountability and integrity to this organization, to ensure leadership and management teams will undoubtedly uphold these values and ultimately their promise made to our nation's veterans. And as a member of this committee with jurisdiction over the VA, I want absolutely assurance absolute assurance that the new secretary will be committed to transparency and accountability as the committee conducts vigorous oversights moving forward. So I commend you, Mr. McDonald, for your willingness uh, to take this particular position. But it's also a challenging task. I also need to be fully confident that you're prepared to transform the VA and address the needs of Nevada veterans. So I look forward to hearing your testimony and discuss these issues further. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator.